There's no way. There's no way in hell. What is going on guys? It is JJ here, back with a new video, and today we're going to take a look for the first time at a Formula 1 car drag race. Now, this is not a normal Formula 1 car drag race. It is racing a road-going car that you could essentially buy anywhere that they are dealt. Unlike a Formula 1 car where you cannot buy them pretty much at all, you cannot take them on the road, you can only use them for certain things, and you don't technically own them if you buy them, this car, the Tesla Model S, you can own, you can buy, and you can drag race, I guess, wherever you want it. I don't know why they are drag racing it against an F1 car. Um, I'm gonna watch it because I think it'll be very interesting, and I kind of want to see if a Tesla could keep up with an F1. An F1 car is not meant for a drag race. I learned this. I learned this very quickly when we took a look at the Bugatti race with uh, David Coulthard, um, which also that video was amazing. But a, a Bugatti on a straightaway is 100% faster than an F1 car. It's something that I did not realize. Um, F1 cars off the start obviously are a lot quicker because they have much better engineer, they're a lot lighter, uh, they have a lot of horsepower, but they don't have the same amount of horsepower as a road going car like Bugatti, which is nearly $3 million. Um, so I'm very intrigued to see what the Tesla does. I don't think it's gonna keep up. I don't think it's gonna be close. I don't think it's gonna be anywhere near as close, but obviously this is gonna be a very interesting video. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this down in the comments below, and let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video obviously down in the description below. Hope you guys enjoy. Quarter mile drag race. So today we've brought the ultimate competitor, a V10 Formula One car. Okay, John, standing quarter mile, F1 car versus Tesla. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Is it? When is a Tesla known for beating cars in a quarter mile drag race? I, it's There's no way it's going to beat the F1 car. It's just so much lighter. Like, it just does not make any sense to me how that would be any close. Three, two, one, go! Oh, we're right off of it. There's no way. There's no way in hell. Off the line, the Tesla very much was better, which is so... How? How is a Tesla getting a better start than an F1 car? That blows my mind. <laughs> How was that? I've never been so scared and excited to see you inside all at once. I didn't see you until just at the last minute and then you went through so rapid, it was unreal. So that Tesla is so quick off the line, the traction is unbelievable. I was sat there just wheel spinning, waiting to get going, and you absolutely went and left me. Um, but then, like, this V10 engine just went at the, the second half of the run, um, and we kind of finally... For a quarter mile, that's that qu nine a seconds a quarter that mile. That was really impressive for that, the first half of that run, it beat it. So we're not only going to test a standing quarter mile, we're also going to test a rolling quarter oh, mile. Oh, a rolling quarter mile. Zero yeah. to 100 and back again, and also my favourite, the moose test, and I'll explain that more. The later. what test? This Tesla Model S P100D has 671 horsepower and 950 newton meters. What? Tesla has that much? 600 horsepower? That's amazing. Has two Honestly, motors, one on the front. Fair play to Tesla. Fair play to Tesla. I did not realize they had cars that, that could go that hard. Pounds. This Sorry, I'm talking over. That's not bad. 770 horsepower and around 520 newton meters of torque. It has a normally aspirated V10 engine and a six-speed paddle shift gearbox. This Benetton only weighs 525 kilograms, giving it a power-to-weight ratio higher than current F1 cars. Really? Okay, so next up, I'm going to do a torque test, right? Everyone tells us how much torque those tests are. Look, at those tires are so worn. So up to 40 miles an hour, get to the start, accelerate as hard as you can, and we'll do a rolling quarter mile. Yeah, Tesla's not winning that. Tesla's not winning that. There's no way. It somehow gets off better to the start. I don't get it. I kind of want to say driver air. 
it's it was John, even I closer. Even more of a win than the last time, right? Well, pretty rapid there. I got a better start that time. Let's wheel spin. What I think we should try next, and this is where I think actually the Tesla might win, is uh, zero to 100 miles an hour and back down again. So the traction of that thing. Um, is going to be absolutely brilliant. I know the Teslas are really good on the brakes as well, and I'm going to be traction limited uh, as I pull away. So yeah, his we'll tires see, are uh, we'll done, donezo. I love that I'm learning about Teslas and F1 at the same time because I feel like I know nothing about cars, and so learning about both of these is so sick. you to win that. I actually thought we would get to 100 miles an hour and you would still be ahead of me but actually that point where we switched over where this got some traction and started to, to get going was uh, was a bit earlier than I expected so I was already coming past you right and then um, and then we got on the brakes and I saw you whiz down there so probably won that by 20 or 30 meters I mean we are comparing a Formula 1 car to a Tesla exactly so like that's the, that's the big difference here really I mean you get to work in that every day don't you if you want to come and drive still that's yeah that's absolutely nutty I don't even know like is this essentially just like their way of showing off the Tesla because there's not gonna be a test I feel like where the F1 car loses it is so much money there's so much engineering put into it I mean same with the Tesla but the, it's just different it's imagine if Tesla made an F1 car, car. Make sure you subscribe. imagine if Tesla made We're an F1 be car inviting some of our subscribers to come and drive these amazing cars and compete in these drag races so make sure you hit that subscribe button all right what then, John, so on to the moose test. I think the Tesla might be pretty good at this, but we'll see. You've done this test before. Where do you reckon we should start? What speed do you want to start at? Start at 55. Okay, well, you go first, and then I'll make sure that I can match it. This is a moose test, so-called as it's designed to test a car's ability to avoid obstacles. Basically, you incrementally increase the speed until you can no longer make it through the course. Ah, that looked easy, John. That Tesla, you can see the weight, but it, it rebounds quickly. It deals with it really well. Yeah, once you come out, it straightens up very quickly. Uh, John, how much have you got left? What do you want to go to next? I'm feeling pretty confident in this F1 car, so I'm going to jump straight up to uh, to the next challenge. I think it'll probably do 65. <laughs> It's just so evenly, yeah, the weight distribution is so unbelievable in that. I love F1 cars, bro. I, uh, you guys are, All right, are amazing. 65 was easy for me. I did 65. You have a go at 65, see if you can do it. Oh. Just a okay. John, did that, was that on the, um, on the stability control? Did it feel like it was sliding? It was certainly a lean as you went into it, but it didn't feel like a slide. Okay, John, you got through at 65. That's really good. You can see the weight in the car, as Callum said before, but it looks like it deals with it really well. I'm going to try 75 this time. That car looks so sick. Okay, I did 75 then, and I got a bit of understeer in the second part of it. The problem with this car, aside from the tyres not being uh, not being warm, is that it's just so stiff. You know, it isn't designed to do these kind of short corners. You know, you need a big Grand Prix circuit like Silverstone to really get the most out of it. So this test is actually quite difficult for a car like this. What so is the test that's going to beat it uh, in the most I test? I guess I'm going to try it at 70 and see how that goes. He's getting confident. Look, he's flooring it from the get <laughs> Oh no, that is not... It's on the brakes! Oh, you're on the brakes, you cheat! And you hit three cones. Okay, John, how fast was that? Do you think it'll go any quicker? I mean, there was a slight slide on that, maybe a little bit more. Okay, creep it up by five. No. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah, no, they're struggling, he's struggling. <laughs> okay, massacre here. <laughs> John, have you got something against those cones? I'm trying to help you clear them up. I'm going to try 80 miles an hour. Yeah, F1 car's going to win that every time. F1 car's going to win that every time. Let's, you know what? Fair play to it. I actually really like this sort of comparison. I like any comparisons where I can learn A, more about F1 cars, and B, about cars that, who knows, future me, 10 years down the line, could buy. 
Would I buy a Tesla Model S in 10 years? Probably not. But anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know your favorite uh, sort of F1 car comparison. I love taking a look at like whether it's the speed, the hand. I want to look at the handling and how an F1 car is built. I do have like a 30 minute video in mind, which will probably come out tomorrow. So let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.